Hey, how are you guys? Bruce here with Wanna Be Free. This new bed platform, sliding bed platform that I built in the uh, Transit Connect camper van has worked out pretty nice for sleeping two people. We've got plenty of room in here, but we have Ruger Du, our uh, German short-haired pointer. He's he's getting up there in age. He's probably uh, 70 pounds. And putting him in here in the same bed with us creates some sleeping and comfort issues. So I'm going to be building a shelf. Let me show you in the van here. In the back of these Ford Transit Connects, you've got this shelf on both sides. If you don't have like a wall panel here, this shelf, it's probably a couple inches wide on both sides. And uh, my thought is to build a... A platform here since we have the the height in the in the van and a bunch of unused space up here I thought maybe I'll build a shelf that'll go from that shelf or a platform from that shelf to this shelf and uh, I got to be careful I got to leave enough headroom so he can get in and out of there and uh, if I put him up above our bed, eight inches or so, that'll give our feet room to maneuver and turn over and so forth down here on our bed, and then give him enough room between that platform and the ceiling so that he can comfortably lay up there. As of now, he's just been sleeping down here on this platform with us. Of course, this pulls out, if you've looked at my you, uh, my uh, past videos I showed you how I built this bed where it slides out and we can put two people in here sleeping lengthwise in the van but I gotta I, I can't sleep very well when I have somebody laying on my legs or laying up against me which he love which he loves to do because he wants to be comfortable too old Ruga do so with this unused space, I thought if I put that shelf here, he's got room up there, and then that'll get him off of our feet. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to build a platform. I'm going to start with a platform that runs across here, and I'm thinking 53 or 54 inches by about 30 inches deep. But it's got to be able to support a 70-pound dog or 70 pounds of gear if you want to use that as a storage shelf and just pack a bunch of gear on top of it. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's get started on it.
All right, that's what we have so far. I'm using some reclaimed wood. These are some old tongue and groove. I think they're oak. Painted a beautiful green that I'm gonna be painting over the top of here shortly. It's brutally hot and humid out here today. I gotta go inside and get cooled down. I'm just dripping wet, sweating like, like it's the end of the world. But you saw me grind down my screws were just a little bit too long. They were sticking out about a quarter of an inch. But I got them glued on. Then I've got some one by twos or threes. I think they're one by threes. I'm gonna run two, maybe three, one across the middle to, to stiffen this whole thing up. This is quarter inch plywood that I had, again, laying around. I disassembled an old uh, cabinet that was around this house in the basement when we've moved in. I've been wanting to get rid of it for a long time, but as you can see, they really liked this green paint. So as much as I like the green, I'm going to paint over it with a white. But before I glue on those three strips across the back, I'm going to paint this, at least put one coat on it. So I'm going to go in and cool off and, and come back out and get this painted. new bed <laughs> hi buddy do you like it is that gonna work for you you don't want to talk about it you just want to go someplace <laughs> you are so cool dude all right guys well I've got the shelf as you can see finished up Ruger that has occupied his space and that's going to be a real comfortable bed for him. It's going to work out real nice. And that way we can all three be comfortable in here. Let me kind of show you what I did. I had a couple of hinges. I think they're stainless steel. The mega heavy duty hinges that I took off of a cabinet that I just uh, scrapped out and destroyed but I kept the hinges that's quarter inch now that's three quarter inch plywood that I cut into slats and then you see the angle on it so more weight up on top puts more pressure on the mechanism that holds it in place and the bottom of the plywood slats are just sitting on that shelf that I was talking about that's in these Ford Transit Connect vans. Up top here, it's kind of dark in here, but I added two sticks, one on each side. I think that's a one by two that uh, just presses up against the wall so that it prevents the, the bed from moving back and forth. I couldn't make it the full width simply because it would just be too difficult to try to install and remove. There's nothing else holding it in place. It's just sitting in there by the, by the pressure that's created from the mounting system. Here's a look at the other side. And it's exactly the same. And it's not, I don't know if you can see looking down at Ruger sitting up there, it's not even bowing or nothing. It's just rock solid straight. Quarter inch plywood on the top piece and then these, I think they're oak floorboards or something. I don't know, it was all scrap wood. 
that I had laying around. Is that working out for you, bud? Can you be comfortable up there? Oh, yeah, he's a good boy. He loves it. <laughs> he finally gets his own bed. I'm so happy for him and us. We can use this. I left a lot more space here than what I had originally planned on. But he can actually stand up. I don't know if I could get him to stand up. Can you stand up? <laughs> look at that look. What do you think, bud? Can you stand up? You don't want to do it? You don't like being on camera? But you like that cool breeze in your face, don't you? Anyway, he does. he's not much of a talker. You can always tell the smart ones. They don't say much. They just sit back and listen. Anyway, anyway um, I don't know. I haven't measured this. I would say that's probably at least a foot. Let me go get a tape measure. I'm curious. See what we got there for measurements. Still hanging out? You like it except for these nasty flies that are everywhere. Man, the flies are just horrible right now. It was so hot and humid today. I guess the flies love it. I don't care for it, but yeah, it looks like about 11 inches. 10 and a half, 11 inches from the top of the mattress to the bottom of the shelf. And then the upper section from the ceiling, well, from the light, the light's the lowest part of the ceiling to the top of the shelf. Yeah, we're looking at right at about 20 inches for that. Can you stand up, bud? Come here. Come on, show them how you can get out of there. Come on, bud. Ruggie. All right, come on. Up. Come on. Up. All the way up. Ruggie. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you tired now after that climb? Uh, you like it? Is it going to work? Now we just need to come up with a place to go camping. Maybe we can, I don't know how far we're going to go. We're, gonna, we're trying to put some plans together. I'd like to get out of the humidity, but we got to go hundreds of miles to do that. Anyway, one last look, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already or if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, bud. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to all the nice YouTube people. <laughs> He's a good boy.